Hey everybody, welcome to the Nintendo Prime Studio, and let's just start with the Battle Station. This is where all of the work gets done. <laughs> Monitor's a little crooked. There we go. Uh, this is where all of my editing gets done. We also do live streams. You can see the stream deck down there. You can see my Ozbot. Uh, that is a camera that can follow you. It's robotic. It's not obviously following right now because it's not set to. You can see it's pointed down at my chair. But yeah, this is where I do all of my editing. Also some light PC gaming when I get a chance. Uh, you can come over here and see some of my accessories. I think we got the Corsair K70, I believe. That's what the keyboard is. I've had multiple Corsair keyboards, so I forget. And then obviously we got our Corsair wireless mouse here. Um, over here, we just have some general remotes. This remote here is kind of cool because this is what controls the Nintendo Prime sign. So you can go off or on. Well, maybe it's not working right now. In fact, there's no batteries in it. That could be why. Anyways, I got two of those remotes, so I got to find the other one. Uh, down here, we got just some really basic Logitech speaker system back there. Uh, nothing too fancy or expensive. Up here, we got some key lights. These are not Elgato ones. These are some off-brand ones. But obviously, they work really well for streaming. They especially work well because now we got this. A pull-down green screen. So whenever I'm doing game stream events or if I'm like reacting to a Nintendo Direct and I want to get rid of my background, uh, I can use this. I can also go to the other side, which is a slightly different shade of green, but actually does work on camera. Uh, and I could use it as like a, hey... I'm, I'm Nintendo Jazz from Nintendo Prime. Here's some cool background crap going on. And what I like about it is it's so simple to put back up. You just pull on it again and it automatically retracts. Now this is a green screen uh, from Elgato over here. This is their big boy one. The big boy pull down screen. Focus in there. Well, I won't because of the light, but yeah, that is a big boy. All right, now here comes to the section that you guys barely ever see. This is our LG 32 inch monitor. We use this on the podcast set, as you can see right here. Uh, when it wants to focus. Uh, this monitor is used to put our guest up on. We also put our uh, streaming software up here. Sometimes if I'm gonna be streaming over here by myself, I can put up the YouTube chat, all that stuff. And it kind of sits right above the camera, which is right there. We obviously spin it around right now. The camera and the studio light are pointed at our other set. Uh, we have our second uh, light here. So basically one of these lights is pointed at, at Eric, this one, and this light gets pointed at me. And that's how we light each other up. And then the glare on the TV doesn't really happen since the lights are directed at Eric and myself. So it hits us, it doesn't hit the TV. It's blocked out on camera. You know, we turn off this light, you know, you see the, the little bright white there, that light's turned off and so is the sign. So it ends up with almost no glare and looks really, really good on camera. So we're really happy with how this set turned out. Um, even though, you know, there's some more work that needs to be done. Uh, down here is kind of a mess of cables. Uh, it's probably the only mess of cables you'll see in here. You know, we do have some cable management going on um, across the ceiling and all this. Uh, some of this mess will be cleaned up a bit. We're waiting because if you guys can't tell, we got new floor in here and that's created more echo, which is why we kept this soundproofing wall up here. Uh, from our old set we just filled in the missing spot where there was a tv before uh, because we need to reduce the echo a little bit and one thing that's going to help is we have a giant pl you know, plush rug coming that all of this equipment is going to sit on top of uh, and that's going to actually help create uh, or, or really fix a lot of the echo in here uh, we're not against putting some sound paneling and stuff on the ceilings over here this wall here is going to actually have some canvas art unfortunately the art we want on back order uh, that's really really unfortunate if we have to go with something else we will but things are really hard to get sometimes and that includes that sometimes includes right now uh, over here is just kind of our little uh just a little storage area for now. We got some cleaning supplies, a bucket here, Mr. Pumpkin, all that. Um, so coming on over this way, we have our other set. This is just kind of an extra chair if we ever need to sit down and watch that TV over there because sometimes we're in here working and want to watch some sports. We got a fan here. This fan is specifically to cool our Lumex G9. This is our main shooter. Uh, you can kind of see the lens looks a little bit dirty. I'm going to have to clean that. Uh, anyways, so this uh, cools and we usually have to shoot it at the back of the camera when we're doing live streams. This is a Comica wireless uh, mic system. 
that we use right here. Here's another one, and we have two of these uh, that I use on this set in particular uh, because I just like to keep it wireless. We do have a cable run to potentially go over there if we want to use a more uh, more professional, uh, more, I don't want to say professional, but a better sounding system. Uh, but for right now, we don't have anything set up. This is our neon uh, signs that say Nintendo Prime. Um, my fiance surprised me with those. They're not really cable managed that well at the moment. I'll have to figure something out for that. Plus, I want to get some panels. I didn't have enough to fill in this section here, so we might have to buy some more panels just to fill in that section. Um, this is our giant whiteboard, but to do this, you guys can kind of get a peek at some of the sponsored content. I already did the March 4th one. I got I to cross that one off. Uh, the March 7th, that's coming up here tomorrow. Uh, Best Buy partnership. You guys will hear all about that soon. Um, down here, we got some general stuff. This is just some more cable runs. Uh, these are some power supplies for some 25-foot cables uh, that we have. Uh, because they need extra power to maintain the signal integrity you can see we don't have everything cable run yet like this is a cable run right here that i mean it literally says mic brick i don't know if you guys can see that mic brick would be over here so if we're running a sound thing over here but the problem is this cable's not long enough so we need to get a 25 footer to run it all the way across and that's what that power supplies are for here we got you know our live stream kind of booze cart here um <laughs> It's funny, we put the, put the rubbing alcohol in the alcohol section. You know, these are the uh, Soak and I, these are the video streaming key lights I talked about that I got. Uh, this is the battery for this camera over there. I only have one. I uh, probably should get some more of those. And this is the battery for a Lumix G7 that I no longer have. Up here, this is the uh, Scarlet Solo that's going to go on this set uh, once I get everything cable run. Um, extra, you know, switch cord here, extra dock, Joy-Cons. All that blue mountain stage just randomly sitting here. There's the old Xbox and PlayStation signs that currently don't have a spot in our set. And then these are what cable runs and extra supplies for that Ring Fit Adventure. Batteries, we go through a ton of AA batteries with the wireless microphone setup. So this is just kind of a general overview look at this. Back here is just some general storage. Um, it's not really organized that well. Believe it or not, you can actually move in here better than before. But this is just from setting up leftover things. We have all our Nintendo Prime merch over here that I need to get organized and up on this shelf. Uh, this is the tool area. Again, needs to be organized. Again, this is all kind of a, hey, let's just put things in here. Uh, figure it out. This is the giveaway bucket actually right here. A bunch of stuff to give away. Uh, so yeah, we, we, we're, we're rocking in here. This is looking really, really clean. Really, really nice. I like how everything turned out. As you can see, our, our other room is not set up yet. Um, that's for uh, my children and my fiance. I don't know why we have this little, the littlest duckling book sitting here. Oliver. Anyway, so yeah, that's just kind of a general look at how things work here. Now, I will note this monitor right now isn't working. Um, we ran this HDMI cable, this really long one, but it's on a uh, converter cable off the back of the computer because I don't have any extra HDMI ports. And for some reason, not working. <laughs> so I got to sort that out. I, I, I'm probably going to end up ordering a uh, display port 15 foot cable and run that over there instead. But first I'm going to try switching this monitor here, which is running off HDMI uh, to the converter cable and see if it's just, it can't handle the converter cable over such a long length, or if there's an issue with my HDMI cable or what's going on. I don't know. I'm going to figure that all out here. That's the next thing because we need this working uh, for the next podcast because we're going to have a guest on. Uh, and don't worry about this cable falling here. Again, this is because it hasn't been put into this channel yet uh, because we are waiting to run additional cables. So anyways, uh, that is the setup. I hope you guys like it. We've had a lot of uh, issues with certain cable runs. Like we ended up having to run a cable here that used to be run over there. See that red cable? That's what this one was supposed to be, but for some reason it didn't work. Probably because the cable run was too long. Signal integrity. Um, you wouldn't believe these crazy lights we have on here. Um, these are actually like $300 special lights that can react to music. Uh, there's a bundle of them just sitting down there. Yeah, it's there's the Xbox Series S and Link and, and Apple TV. Yeah, it's it's kind of um, whew, it's kind of a hodgepodge in here. We do the best we can with what we got. Again, some more stuff to come. Uh, we do plan to upgrade our camera. While this camera is absolutely amazing, the Lumix G9 is nice. The overheating problem um, has become an issue on several of our longer shows, especially at E3. So uh, we are probably going to end up getting the Sony A7 Mark IV. 
And that plus lenses is gonna run $2,500 to $3,000. Uh, and this will just end up being a secondary camera that's not on all the time uh, that we just use for alternative angles and stuff like that. So if for some reason we switch to the alternative angle and that camera doesn't work, we can just go back to the wide view. But uh, yeah, you can tell that's a really expensive purchase. Now I could obviously go with a cheaper camera from Canon, which Canon cameras are that cheap, or go with the Lumix G7 again. But then we're downgrading. We'd rather always, if we're going to buy a new piece of equipment, we want to upgrade over what we're already using. We don't, we don't want to ever go backwards. So, yes, that's our next step up. And because I don't have any lenses specifically for a Sony camera, obviously I have to get the lenses and all that as well. So that's a whole other purchase to worry about in the future, isn't it, guys? Money that we don't have right now. So we're just going to deal with the best we got. And that is the Nintendo Prime Studio. Oh, uh, some people wonder why I said like I have like five sets. So that is set number one for the podcast. Set number two, you see me doing my standard videos. Plus we have this swing arm here to do unboxings and top down. So basically you just put the phone here, we swing it over and it's about right here. Uh, and then it's top down and we can do unboxings and other stuff like that. That's what this arm's for. You guys don't see it on camera very often. Uh, this is uh, set number three is right here with the pull down green screen. Um, we can also call it set three without it up for, for streaming purposes. Set four is the back side of the green screen. Uh, so we can use that um, as like a, hey, you know, I'm on green screen. And then set five that I talk about is back here. So you guys remember my gaming collection? I didn't get rid of it. It's all right here. And basically set five would be a shot that's like this or in the corner like this. Again, none of this is organized right now. A lot of my gaming collection stuff, uh, but this is, but this would be a set. We just gotta get all this cleaned up. And yeah, it'll have these ugly green walls, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta kick it old school and these walls have been green for a long time. It used to be yellow. So you can see yellow, green, anyways. That was a Green Bay Packer theme in here at one point, my fiance painted, but. All right, that is the studio tour. And there is my youngest son making a line of books because you know, he just likes to keep the mess going. All right, folks, I'll catch you later.